What's happening guys, Cooper Carter here for G66. And on this week's Fractal Friday, I'm gonna show you two different methods for running backing tracks through your AxeFX3, FM9, or FM3. One of the most frequent questions that I get is, what's the best way to run backing tracks through my Fractal Audio unit? Now, given that the AxeFX3, the FM9, and the FM3 can all be used as USB audio devices, it's very easy to play along with backing tracks. The question is, do you want those backing tracks coming out of output one alongside your guitar, and you want to set the levels inside of the unit, or do you want to send your guitar out on output one and the backing tracks out of output two so that you can control the levels of each one with the hardware knobs themselves? Both are simple to implement, with the first one being my choice for playing along, for example, in a rehearsal space by yourself, and the second one being a little more useful if you're using your Fractal unit to run tracks to front of house when playing live. Step one here is to connect your Fractal unit to your computer using a USB cable. And once you've done that, if you're on a PC, you want to go to fractalaudio.com, click on Downloads, and then Your Unit. I'm going to click AxeFX3 here. We're going to go down and download the AxeFX3 USB driver setup for Windows. If you're on a Mac, you don't need a driver. But regardless of whether you're on a Mac or a PC, once you're set up and plugged in, you are going to want to go to your system sound settings and select the AxeFX3, the FM9, or the FM3 as your audio device. So I've got my live preset pulled up here, and I have my ODS lead scene. And now without any more setup, you are ready to play backing track music from any source on your computer alongside your tone. I've got a backing track loaded up in VLC here. I'm going to hit play on that. And you can hear that I have both my guitar tone and the backing track coming out of output one. Now, if I wanted to adjust the balance between those two, I could either go into my amplifier block and change the level of the amp to affect the output one guitar signal, which right now I have balanced right around zero dB, which is my best practice. Or I could go to setup, input levels, and under USB one and two, I could play my backing track and adjust the volume here. For a little bit better relative volume between the two. I could also just simply adjust the level of my computer's output using the system slider. This is great if you're playing along with a backing track in your studio. And this method is exactly the same for the AxeFX3, the FM9, and the FM3. But you may want more separation of control between your guitar signal and your backing track. Maybe you're running each into a separate set of speakers, or maybe you're running each into two separate channels on a mixer. In that case, if you're on the AxeFX3 or the FM9, We'll go to audio, and under USB output mapping, we will switch to one and two to out two, three and four to out one. Or on the FM3, we'll go to setup, audio, and under USB one and two playback destination, we'll go to output two. And now when I play my backing track, you'll see that I have output on output two, whereas my guitar, I have output on output one. And this, of course, through the hardware knobs on any of the three units offers completely independent level control. And that's really all there is to it. So whether you want to keep everything on output one for simplicity, or you want to run things out of outputs one and two for separation, there's really no mystery here. It's very straightforward. And obviously playing along with backing tracks is a huge part of modern day practicing. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to G66, and leave me a comment below letting me know what you would like to see in a future episode of Fractal Friday. This week's episode was a request by a forum member to show off those two different methods. So I hope that was useful to you. And as always, if you guys would like to dig even deeper into your Fractal unit, whether that's the AxeFX3, the FM9, or the FM3, make sure to visit classes.coopercarter.com for my complete Fractal Audio Masterclass series. For all things Fractal, keep it right here on G66, and I will see you guys next week on Fractal Friday.